Hey guys, this is Joy back again with another video and I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning into my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. I just wanted to go ahead and adjust this volume here on my computer. I'm hoping that you all can hear me well. As I mentioned in the other video, <clears throat> I am still under the weather, but all is well. I'm here. I'm back with another video for you guys. Um, shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you for those that have um, liked, shared, left a comment or a question under my video. Please, guys, continue to do that. Um, it means it means a lot, and it lets me know that you guys are engaging and you are tuning into my videos, and that my videos are touching you. Um, because that's the reason why I do this channel is pretty much to inspire and motivate you guys to live your best life. Um, to be healthier, um, to be happier, or at least content, be at peace, you know, um, after dealing with narcissistic abuse, you know, because it's really tough, you know, because it's very traumatizing when you're dealing with a narcissist. I don't know if you guys are realizing that, but I mean, you really get traumatized and it's something that's not that easy to get over. So, you know, if you have someone out there that understands where you're coming from, that's been in that same situation, it really does help you heal a lot faster. It definitely gives you that validation, that closure that we're all seeking. So, yeah, you guys, let me go ahead and get this. It's going to be a question and answer going to be a quick one. Um, so it comes, the first question comes from Ken HD. Um, he says, hi, live narc free. He says, I have a question. Do you think the number of narcissists are increasing or it's just we're waking up to it? That's a beautiful question. Um, I want to say it's probably both. I think that, you know, like even before I was dealing with the, my aunt that was a narcissist and the male narcissist that I was dating, I had no idea what a narcissist was or that it was a personality disorder or it was, you know what I mean, like a mental illness. And I think a lot of people are like that until they actually experience it. So I feel like a lot of people are just waking up to it. But at the same time, you know, you can become a narcissist from your childhood because of the way that your parents treat you or the way that your teachers treated you or the way that your siblings treated you, you know, and you could take that way that they treated you and think like, okay, well, I am, a, excuse my language, I am a piece of crap and um, I don't deserve the good things in life. So um, I'm going to go after it, even though I know I don't deserve it. And I'm going to just, you know, take advantage of, of, take advantage of as many people as I can and you know use and abuse people because that's what was done to me you know what I mean so people can take that personality disorder on and that's just who they are so I don't know if it's necessarily increasing I think I feel like people are just waking up to it but at the same time you know the more somebody hurts you in a relationship or the more people disappoint you or the more you feel rejected or you more you feel um betrayed by family friends colleagues whatever then that can turn you into that type of person that betrayed you that abused you that disappointed you that used you you know what I mean so I think it's both I think that the number of narcissists are increasing because people are like well if I, somebody did me wrong I'm gonna do them wrong and I'm gonna be like that person so they're letting people change them you know and, and then it's just the fact that a lot of people are waking up to it as well so I say it's both you know so yeah that was a beautiful question thank you for that Ken HD um, the next and the final question comes from Radhika Sharma. She actually emailed me. She says, my narc um, discarded me suddenly in a day and moved on to a new supply, but he kept insisting that we remain friends. I refused. He kept hoovering and I kept falling into the trap several times. And finally, I decided not to fall anymore. He kept hoovering me for a week, but because I didn't respond at all, he has now stopped hoovering me. Will he contact me again? That's a great question. Thank you for that. And I also wanted to let you know, Ratika, you can also go to the, the video that I did. It's a question and answer. Will the narcissist ever come back or have they discarded me forever? That can definitely answer that. But I'll just go ahead and um, answer this question here. Um he stopped hoovering you will he ever contact you again knowing the narcissist they never leave you alone you're always you know a target a, a form of supply that they can come back to at any moment you know they always they think that they own you for life a lot of us know that um but it's not necessarily true because you know you can continue to block them ignore them don't um um resist their hoover attempts you know 
Um, and even though they'll try to get other people to contact you, you know, just because they're looking for a reaction. They want to see if they can still um, get you emotionally involved and see if they get trigger some of those feelings or if they have a way of getting back into your life. You know what I mean? So, you know, they'll keep trying to get you back into that trap. They'll keep trying to like reach out to you or have somebody else reach out to you. So it is a possibility that they will contact you, but it's up to you not to really focus on them. Um, wondering if they're going to contact you again, you should be focusing on making sure that you block them out any way possible from getting in contact with you because you obviously know that they're up to no good. You, you know that they don't mean you any well and um, this new person that they're with, they don't love that person. You know, they're just doing it because they can't be alone and um, that new person is going to get the same thing that was done. What happened to you is going to happen to that new person. So don't think that that new person is getting a better life or getting a better version of the narcissist. It's all, it's all fake. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Um, Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Um, it means a lot. Thank you. If you have a question or a comment, anything about narcissists, borderlines, I'm actually making a video about borderlines versus narcissists after this video. But anything, um, leave me a comment or a question. I'll make a video about it. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at LiveNarcFree. Make sure you're following me on my Facebook page at LiveNarcFree. And my um, new website is going to be coming back up soon. I had to do some um, reconstruction on it. But yeah, it's coming back up again. Um, if you'd like to try a coaching session, you can email me at livenarcfree9 at gmail.com. And yeah, that's been it, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.